be more disciplined. Be more disciplined in your life. If you say you're going to do something, do it. If you say you're going to work out more, work out. If you say you're going to read your Bible every day, read your Bible every day. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Natalie's Niche. I am a content creator here on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. I do a lot of encouragement and personal development videos, things that just help you grow physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. So yes, I am that Christian girl for you. So if you're really interested in content like this, make sure you subscribe to this channel because when I tell you I'm consistent this year, I am consistent this year. So guys, today we're gonna to be talking about holy habits that you need to develop in 2024 to help you glow up be that girl just you know glow up both in your spiritual life in every area of your life when i tell you about these things it's because these are things that i'm currently doing and i can see the things that it's doing for me it's just helping me just to become better in my lifestyle and the things that i do for myself so i'm that person that when i learn things i want to share so the thing i'm going to say is bible before your phone this one i am really bad with this because the first thing when i wake up i want to just grab my phone and see who texted me see what's going on on instagram i am that girl okay put your hands up if that is you so one thing i've tried to do lately is i have now put downtime on my phone so i do this setting on um my iphone where i start in the morning from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. that's my time frame for me to be on the phone um, I started it the first of January just to kind of like tell myself and mentally remind myself that you're not supposed to be on the phone right now try to get out of your phone don't do it right now you know stuff like that and I feel like it's helped me a lot of times when I wake up I just want to grab my phone and go straight to you know the internet I have really really seen that just putting that little thing on my phone when I wake up and when I see that okay it's not your time to touch your phone it helps me picking the apps on your phone you want to be active at a certain time of the day is very important like my Bible app is always open so I usually just go to the Bible app read my verse of the day and then when I'm done reading my verse of the day then if it's my content creation day or whatever then i can go and you know post whatever i want to post and reach out to whoever i want to reach out i feel like when you do this it helps to control whatever comes in your space first thing in the morning because we know the internet there's so much going on, on the internet so it's important that you create a space where you're protecting your mental space as well start your day with worship if you follow me on instagram you know that I worship like that is one way where I connect with God like once I wake up I'm playing some kind of music I I'm dancing I'm worshiping God it creates such a, a mood like it creates a, a, a space where I feel so joyful like who wants to wake up mad in the morning have you ever woken up with some kind of weird emotion and weird feeling this is one way that i've been trying especially because i'm postpartum i just had a baby i know that my emotions are up and down i try to play worship music in the morning to remind myself that god is good okay you don't have to be in that postpartum mood you don't have to be mad all the time you can create your atmosphere for yourself so play some worship music dance while you're doing the dishes dance while you're cleaning up the house create a space where the first thing in the morning you're happy you're, you're just happy about life the third thing is to eat nourishing foods right you want to glow up right and I feel like this holy habit will really help you glow up both spiritually and physically right I just did the Daniel fast this January I know by this time you guys are watching this video it's February but like I did this Daniel fast in January with my mother-in-law and I love it like I feel like I had never done it before but I always see her do it and I'm like what what is a Daniel fast maybe if you guys want to know more about that I'll do that in another video but I loved it for myself like I found myself finding more ways to love you know fruits and vegetables and actually see the beauty in these foods like it was so so nourishing that i'm so excited to be doing another fast in february if you're not following me on my instagram if you want to be part of the fast make sure you follow me on my instagram and on there 
follow my channel my broadcast channel because that's where we're gonna be doing it but yeah eat nourishing foods like it helps you it will look better like your skin be glowing like you, you all do you guys see do you see the glow I, I don't know what it is but it's the food I eat okay so eat nourishing foods try to find ways to input fruits vegetables in your daily meals and yeah you're gonna glow honey you're gonna glow all through 2024 okay start prayer walks okay this is one part that i haven't really started doing that much lately i started it but then i have kind of backslided a little bit but prayer walks like it's it's so amazing when you can pray a walk like you're working your physical body but also your spiritual body while you work you pray while you walk you pray i'm still trying to navigate my time frame with my newborn so i don't yet have a time frame with her where i know okay this is the time where you know i can do this with her and you know stuff like that so but once i'm able to get my time frame together we're gonna be prayer walking prayer walk is so amazing try it let's just say 15 minutes of your day every 15 minutes you're gonna walk around your neighborhood try that just try it for one week and come back to this video and tell me how you feel it's so amazing like you don't want to stop you wouldn't want to stop walking around just praying to God thanking God for your day telling God how amazing you know life has been and how stressful it has been or whatever situation you're in just walking and talking to God that part is amazing try to do that this year and just see how things kind of you go for you trust me it's one holy habit you would want to keep repeating and stay consistent at. the next holy habit is discipline this is one that god has really been drilling me in this year it's like do what you say you're gonna do the bible talks about it james 4 verse 7 it talks about us doing what we say we're gonna do god loves discipline i feel like i never really knew this before i was so lazy like i feel like <laughs> i i never really knew how lazy i was until this year like i was so lazy these past years like even my youtube channel it should have gone farther than it is right now but i feel like my procrastination my laziness just kept me in this deep place where it's like i just want i just wanted to keep procrastinating things but god loves discipline so let this be something that you build up in this year try to be more disciplined if you wake up and you say you're gonna do something do it one thing i've noticed about discipline is that don't wait don't wait when something comes to your head to do do it right away if you don't do it right away you might not do it again okay so one thing i've tried to do is that you know when i say okay today i'm going to clean the bathroom today i'm going to clean the bathroom today i'm going to clean the bathroom when i say it like three four times and i haven't done it i get up and i go do it because i notice that it's a pattern for me once i keep saying i'm not gonna do something i'm gonna do it later i'm gonna do it i'm not gonna do it again <laughs> i know myself so if you know yourself and the patterns that you usually go through try to find a system you know now i'm currently reading a book james claire you know um atomic habits and it's helped me so much with you know creating systems around how to be more disciplined with my life so be more disciplined be more disciplined in your life if you say you're gonna do something do it. if you say you're gonna work out more work out if you say you're gonna read your bible every day read your bible every day discipline works hand in hand with things that are important to you if something's not important to you you're not gonna do it if you see that okay i want to in a year be in a better place you know um physically you're gonna work out every day because you know you, that's something that's important it's something that means a lot to you so if you see that your life means a lot to you do what you say you're gonna do do it do it be disciplined <clears throat> I'm talking to myself too okay yeah that's why i'm filming this video at 11 <coughs> 30 p.m because everyone's asleep and i'm like yeah i was a, i was about to go to bed but guess what i did i did it i did it i got up put on some makeup and i'm here filming this video so do it do it right away don't wait do it right away taking out time to actually be present in the lives of your loved ones one thing we notice about jesus in the bible is that he was always present when anyone needed him he was always there so dedicate a day in a week um this is something i do i actually pick on sundays one day in a week sundays i reach out to my friends i just call how are you doing how are you, how's everything you okay <laughs> everything okay you know 
find time to actually let the people that you know mean a lot to you know that they mean a lot to you you know be that person that's present in the lives of the people that you say are your loved ones you can be saying you love me and i never hear from you my dear even if it's a text once a month or something you know like i know life is busy but i feel like the more you're there for your loved ones the more richer and happier you are you know the more you know happier you are inside and when you're happy you glow it comes out you see it outside of you so yeah that's another thing to do so finally i'm going to share this habit because i feel like it's something that we need to see more of dress modestly I feel like for me growing uh, in my spiritual walk, I feel like God has really been, you know, grooming me in that aspect. Um, dress modestly can look different for everybody. But if you're in a season where God is cautioning you when you put something on and you're like, okay, this don't, this don't, I don't feel right in this dress. Change it, okay? Change that outfit, okay? Dress <laughs> modestly dress in a way that when you go out people don't got a question if you're a Christian or not you know let it be a place where people know like they don't want to have to ask you if you're a child of God because of the way you dress they're, they're like okay yeah she, she must be she must be a child of God she she must be a Christian I'm not saying dress covering your head to your toe but I'm saying dress in a way that you're distinguishable from the people in the world and make sure that people know that you are in the world, but not of the world, okay? You can still be cute, okay? You can still be cute, but covered. You know what I mean? Cute, but covered. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I have a whole lot to share, but I feel like this is enough for this video. If you guys love these kind of topics, let me know. I will be sharing more to come. And yeah, let's keep growing, glowing, and just serving God this 2024, okay? All right, guys. I don't know. I'm feeling myself today. I, do, you, do you think I'm glowing? I think I'm glowing too. Anyways, have a good one. I'll see you guys in my next video. Please make sure you subscribe to this video because when you subscribe, that's how I get to know the kind of videos you like. And also like. When you like, YouTube gets me to know these are the kind of videos you like. Alright, see you guys next time. Bye.